Are right deeds and actions more important than right words and ideas? When it comes to solving the problems in your personal life, in your family and friendships life and in the life of this world of ours? Yes, it's time for another difficult question, but this time I'm going to suggest an answer. A simple answer that is not so easy to implement. I'm going to suggest to you, me and everyone, to the righteous and the not so righteous, the meek and the bold, the ones like us and the ones like them, that when it comes to what's needed right now, we need to show, not tell. This is Sonderlust with Steve M. Nash, offering an uncommon perspective on the human being experience. An invitation for you and I to blame and shame less and to listen more and to see what comes from doing that. Episode 8 Answers the provocative one about showing, not telling. Quote, There is truth, but the doctrine you desire, absolute perfect dogma that alone provides wisdom, does not exist. Nor should you long for a perfect doctrine, my friend. Rather, you should long for the perfection of yourself. The deity is within you, not in ideas and books. Truth is lived, not taught. Be prepared for conflicts. I can see that they have already begun. Hermann Hesse, from the Glass Bead Game. Answers versus actions. Okay, let's start with the basics here, so you know where I'm coming from. Let's start with the obvious question. What do you mean by show, not tell? Okay, if your answer to life's problems is a particular religion or non-religion or belief system or understanding, is it more important for you to share the religion, belief system, understanding with others, i.e. tell, or is it more important to live by the values of that religion, belief system, understanding, i.e. show? Specific example, let's say that your religion or belief system can be reduced to this. Love is what matters most. Are you the sort of person who concentrates on telling others that love is what matters most? Or are you the sort of person who shows, via your actions, that love is what matters most? To summarise, do you think the solution to the world's problems is telling everyone else about the right answer? Or do you think the solution is showing people what the right answer looks like, via your actions? You with me? Good. Let me explain what I mean by right answers now, and I'll do that by listing what constitute right answers for others. You may have even heard of some of these solutions. Who knows? In the 21st century, right answers can be found via the following. Religion or non-religion? Christianity or Islam or Hinduism or Buddhism or Atheism? Spiritual understanding? The three principles understanding? Access consciousness? Byron Katie's The Work? Non-duality, self-help, personal growth, positive psychology, NLP, CBT, EFT, the Sedona method, hypnotherapy, human givens, physical, mindful solutions, yoga, mindfulness and meditation, Tai Chi or Falun Gong or Five Rhythms, New Age thinking, Reiki healing, angels, Tarot cards, past life regressions, remote viewing. Political, ideological values. Political correctness, cancel culture or free speech absolutism. Left wing or right wing or moderate. Capitalism or socialism or communism. Vegan or omnivore or keto. Other. Personal insights, traditions, culture, status quo, etc. No matter what you think the answer is, or what combination of answers you might want to mix and match, far too many people think, in my humble opinion, that the answer that's right matters much more than what they do with the answer. And I politely disagree. I think we all of us need to lead by positive example a lot, lot more. I think we need to value right actions over right ideas. I think the solution to the world's problems is not going to come about simply by getting everyone else to see that your answer is the right and only answer. So, I agree with German author Hermann Hesse when he wrote, The truth is lived, not taught. And I agree with disgraced cyclist Lance Armstrong when he wrote, It's not about the bike. 
It is not about the bike, the answer. It's about what you do with the bike. Over to you. Some more about sure versus tell. As I've already said, whether it's the right religion, or the one true spiritual understanding, or it's the latest can't fail to work, incredibly powerful self-help technique. Whatever. Much more effort seems to go into evangelizing about and sharing that religion, understanding, technique, than living according to it. Do you see that? Telling is so much easier than showing, after all. Another example. Let's say you're a fan of tolerance, but you can't tolerate intolerant people. Hmm, notice the contradiction? Or let's say you're prejudiced against prejudice, judgmental of judgmental people, or that you hate the haters. Hmm, yet more telling, not showing, in my humble opinion. What's needed, from all of us, is walking the talk. It's finding a way to love hate. It's listening to and trying to understand fear. Show me, don't tell me, is what I call being the change I want to see in the world. Showing, not telling, makes the difference. The good news is that we've all done this in our time, shown, not told. We've all offered a smile, or a loving embrace, or a random act of kindness. We've all led by example like this, all of us. Alas, we've all done the opposite, and far more often than that. Show me, don't tell me, please. Because whatever it is that you do or don't believe, whatever it is that happened to you in the past, and whatever it is that you think is the answer that we all need to see, in some small or large part our world is in a mess because of you, and our world can be helped and healed by you too. By your actions, mind, not by your ideas. The action of sharing ideas is overdone, see. Everyone's at it right now, sharing ideas, competing for attention and income and validation. I'm even doing it right now. Noticed? Ha! Sharing the idea that more right actions are what's needed right now, not more right ideas. Ah, the paradox of using words to say that more words are not what's needed. What can you do? Show me. That's what you can do. Show me. Show me whether you're a loving human being or a fearful one, no matter who you're talking about or relating to. Show me that you truly value listening to someone over judging them. Show me whether you can see the value in others, all others, even those who might do things you disapprove of, believe things you think untrue, and behave in ways you do not understand or condone. Show me whether you value your ideas or beliefs or strategies more than you value another human being. Show me that you understand what it is to be human, for both yourself and for others. Show me how much of your experience of life you can take responsibility for. Quote, If the only thing people learned was not to be afraid of their experience, that alone would change the world. Sidney Banks Show me that you understand the words of Hermann Hesse. Only the ideas we actually live are of any value. Show me whether you're part of the problem or part of the solution. Because what's not transformed is transmitted. Remember? So being angry with someone's anger, or intolerant of someone's intolerance, or unaccepting of someone's unacceptance, well, that's all being part of the problem, in my humble opinion. Show me how at ease you are with yourself, how comfortable you are in your own skin, how at ease you are with others. Show me, show me, show me because that's all that really matters. Not just to me either, but to you too. Because love and openness feels good, and fear and closed downness does not. Instant calm or anyone? So show me, don't tell me, please. Because you are the answer, and it's not about the bike. It's not about your insights. It's not about your beliefs. It's not about your values. It's about your actions. So, please... Show me. Don't tell me. Show me. The Sonderless Challenge Before I leave you, here's a little something for you to ponder on during your week. What value or belief or answer 
do you have that you think the rest of the world should adopt to make the world a better place? Bonus challenge. What do you think my answer to this question is? You have been listening to Sonderlust with Steve M. Nash. All the way to the end. Thank you. For more about this podcast and to join the Sonderlust mailing list, please visit stevemnash.com forward slash podcast.